guys welcome to our fifth tutorial in the ci series yeah tutorial number five some progress right um today we're going to talk about model model sounds so crunchy right model sounds so crunchy like something you just wanna grab and throw into your mouth and start shaving of course hey give me some two models over there thank you models okay so um if you watch our previous videos, how, uh, how we created um, a controller, it's nearly the same same thing that you're going to do here. So to create a new model, come to your models folder and then add a new file, then give it a name. Okay, let me do this from the command line today. Come to my JIT, and then I want to change my directory to C, uh, WAMP, WW folder, and then Brian Matiano. Okay, CI template. Um, slash, I'll, I'll navigate to my application folder, application, slash models. Good. Uh, let me check what's in there. So far, I have main model and index.html. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is just to create. Um, example example model that, that that's the name that i'm going to give my model so let's let's say um example model .php. and as you guys can see here it has been updated okay example model so um i'll vi or vim let me do vi example model.php okay so i'll start with that with php block Whoa. then close it right here and i already explained uh why we need to check our if our uh, base path is defined that is to uh, make the model now work as a unit in the uh, as uh, to boot up the, the the whole framework so that it doesn't run on its own so i'll go ahead and implement that one here as well if um not defined and i'm going to check uh, my base path So if not defined base path, let's go ahead and exit with the status of um, no direct script access allowed. Okay, give it an exclamation mark to tell this case that you are serious about this. Okay, let's end that. So um, we are going to create now a class that extends our CI model, not our CI controller. So let's say uh, class exam and and then the the class name here is in uppercase. Okay, we already mentioned that, and I really don't want to uh, spend much time dwelling dwelling on it. So example class example model. Okay. Okay, now we are going to extend, extends, CI, model. Go ahead here and call your function construct. No, start with that double underscore function construct and then call your parent constructor so go ahead and call your parent um, parent construct okay
read. So which means we can now load our database because we'll uh, we'll be actively working with the database in our models. Yeah, the model actually handles all the database work here. So we'll go ahead and load our database here. So just do this. Load database. The database class. The database. So this load database. I think we are done. So I'll just go ahead and strike uh, shift zz escape first then shift zz save okay so um you should take a look at this uh file that you just created here um of course we can we can extend we can extend the the class as well uh, and then do several other things within within our our model think think of things like um, creating functions to up, to update your database or just creating a database from the from the model okay I told you guys that models sound so crunchy which means they can handle other crunchy works like creating just a table so you can create a table from your uh, from your models okay tables databases you can update records you can any other thing that you you uh, you can handle uh, in your databases you can do it from your models and actually this is this is the best place to do to do your to do your database work uh, if you want to define any other things like uh, database constraints you can go ahead and do them here but later on we'll see how to maintain your uh, data integrity I think that that's going to be a nice a, a nice lesson a nice tutorial as well how you maintain your data integrity think of things like um, deleting record uh, deleting record records in the in the parent in the parent table what are you going to do with the orphan uh, with the orphan IDs the orphan IDs uh, if you link them with your with a foreign key, what was going to happen? The uh, often often IDs are you going to keep them into a database? I mean, we're going to talk about several things when it comes to database work. So you guys just stay focused. So um, we can as well go ahead and and extend this uh, model as well. So we can say class uh, example model two. Don't complain about my naming convention anymore you, you, you you're so far used to it class example model uh, model two, and then we, we're just going to extend our uh, example model okay we are going to extend this one right here example model okay and then here we can just do several other things you can even decide to call our function construct parent constructor and handle every, any other thing but for now i think that is all i need to tell you guys about the models so just know that models handles most of the database work you can uh, receive um, you can pass data from your controller to uh, to your model so that it it does some kind of database work and then it, it returns something back to the controller the controller then displays uh, their uh, the response back to the user in the views or something um so you guys should now gear yourself towards uh, starting some data work okay our learning curve just changed from mentioning petty petty things to something serious so um why don't you guys meet me in the next uh tutorial as we try to validate our login but before we validate our login, we must have a database somewhere as well. So we still need to mention a lot. See you in the next tutorial.